It is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and we are hearing from the artist behind the Pulse tribute that's going up in Osceola County. As Westru's Mega Mulatto tells us, he's also the creator behind many of the pieces in Lake Nona and the artwork currently being installed on the side of Advent Health Winter Park along I-4. Crews are working on installing an art fixture on the side of Advent Health along I-4. Local Filipino-American artist Jeffrey says the fixture resembles thank you letters. A show of appreciation to the nurses who take care of patients day in and day out. And a nod to the ones who took care of him. Uh, Fifteen years ago is when I had my life incident when I had a heart attack and triple bypass surgery um, and decided to uh, change in my life in terms of what I wanted to accomplish, um, which was to create art. He quit his nine to five and went all in on art, entering himself in competitions across the country. My first year, uh, I was a finalist for 12 all over the nation. Um, you hope to win one in your first year, and I won eight and was the fastest artist to break the $1 million mark in public art competitions. Now his work can be found worldwide, including a 28-story statue in the Philippines, sculptures at the Wave Hotel, and the Disco Dog at the Lake Nona Town Center. He's also working on the Pulse tribute set for Brownie Wise Park in Osceola County. He says the design isn't about the tragedy, but more so about those who lost their lives and the survivors. It's really um, design elements um, that are reflective of each individual. In addition to that, uh, we do have a survivor component as well as opportunity for each of the fallen's families to have input in their individual elements that will be part of the design. Jeffrey says he can't reveal much, but tells us it'll have physical and digital aspects involving the number 49, representing the 49 angels. Megan Mulatto, WESH 2 News. Jeffrey says that some of the Pulse victims called Osceola County home. The design of the tribute will be revealed on June 12th, the date of the shooting eight years later.